Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us today for an informative and exciting CLIA Global Cruise Line webinar with Holland America Line. My name is Johanna de Guzman. I'm the Manager of Industry Relations for North American Travel Trade Membership here at CLIA, and I'm going to quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. The webinar will run for about 45 to 50 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we will get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, CLIA Global. It is my pleasure to introduce our speaker, Rob Coleman. Since joining Holland America's line sales team in 1999, Rob has held, a progress, has held progressive positions in all disciplines of the Holland sales organization. From a grassroots start in inside sales to his leadership in building the company's large portfolio of full ship charters, Rob has made an undeniable impact in each of his roles. Appointed Vice President of North American Sales in March of 2023, he returns to his passion of forging strong and thriving trade partnerships. Out and outside of work, Rob enjoys traveling the world with his husband, Sean, but also relishes his time at home with his family in Atlanta. And with that, take it away, Rob. Boy, thanks. We're so glad to be here. Andrew, are you with me? I am, Rob. Thank you so much. So um, thank you all for joining uh, Rob Coleman and myself. I'm Andrew Davis. Uh, what, on our part of our national account team, um, and so please be, please bear with us today as we as we walk through the presentation. A um, couple of, as always, a couple of tech, technical challenges that happens, but we're making do. So please bear with us as we walk through this. But we're super excited to be here with you, and look forward to sharing with you all of our Alaska 2025 product information. We sure are excited, Andrew, and we have a lot to share about Alaska. So. Why don't we go ahead and move on and start talking about uh, the Great Land, which Holland America Line has been taking guests to for how long is it now, Andrew? Gosh, uh, 70. It'll be 77 years this year. You can believe that. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. So, yeah, some of, we some are of the, the reasons. Longest standing, we're the longest standing cruise line uh, taking guests up to Alaska, and uh, we have quite a heritage and tradition up there. So, we're going to focus on some of those aspects. Exactly, Rob. Um, like being number one in Alaska for glaciers, um, our fresh local seafood program, and our complimentary uh, park tours up in Denali as well. When people think about Holland America and Alaska, there are five things they should focus on. And what is the first one that we're going to talk about today, Andrew? Alaska glaciers. There's more glaciers and, and uh, guests can see more glaciers with Holland America Line than any other cruise line. And in fact, we have more entries into Glacier National Park than any cruise line. We have over 80 every season, and uh, that gives people the uh, opportunity to see the very best and most informative experience in Tidewater Glacier Viewing in Alaska. In addition to glaciers, what else do people go to Alaska to see? I think they want to see the wildlife. The wildlife, they sure do want to see the wildlife. They're looking to see the bear, the caribou, and all of the marine wildlife that Alaska has to offer. And we have ways that they can experience it both up close as well as from the rail of the ships. But we also have something that's great about Alaska. Alaska has seven of the largest national parks in the U.S. system. Um, and we do a great job of taking people into the national parks. Andrew, have you been to a national park in Alaska? You know, Rob, I have. I've been um, into Glacier, into, nat, into not only Glacier Bay National Park, but also into Denali National Park, um, and as well as some other national parks in the surrounding areas that even cross over into uh, Canada. And when you take the wildlife, the glaciers, the national parks, really, we focus on those, and that is because we really love Alaska. We put six or more of our ships in Alaska every year, and we think we do it better than anyone else. And that is why um, 
we put ourselves on the list of the top five reasons to go to Alaska. Our ships are built for Alaska, for scenic cruising, and we think ex uh, uh, the way we do it is unique, deep, and exceptional. But there's one final reason we think Holland America is the best choice for guests considering going to Alaska. And what does it have to do with? You know, it's the food, it's the fresh local seafood that is certified sustainable and traceable with, with uh, on board our ships. And we're the first and only cruise line to earn the Distinguished Responsible Fisheries Management Certificate. Well, let's drill down and talk about each of these areas so we can put a little more color behind it, Andrew. Perfect. So, I'm going to ask you a question. When is the best time to visit Alaska? You know, there's there's a couple of different answers I could give. The, the, the smart aleck one, which is whenever you have the most time to, to stay. <laughs> or the other answer is it really depends on what you want to do and what you want your experience in Alaska to be. You know, Andrew, we both have been uh, working promoting Alaska for many, many years. And we both have the experience of going to a uh, consumer event to share about the wonders of Alaska. And people always ask us, when's the best time to go? They think we're going to give them the one week in July when it's the perfect time, perfect weather, every, they can see everything. And the reality is there's a long season in Alaska. It runs from May to September, and there are great reasons to go, both for what you can see as well as, you know, your, what your um, personal – uh, summer or annual schedule allows, there's, it's always a great time to go to Alaska between May and September. And this chart I love because it really highlights and lets people focus in to make sure they see what they want to see. If they want to see the salmon run, they really need to wait until uh, towards the end of the season. So it really lays out the time of year to uh, piece together all of the components that you want to see. You know, Rob, you're absolutely spot on with that. I've been up to Alaska with Holland America Line uh, at least a dozen times and, and different times throughout the season. And every time I go, it's a different experience because it's, again, it's so dependent upon the time of the year that you go. And if people go in July and they expect the weather to be uh, particularly warm, what I'll say is, well, maybe, but dress in layers and be prepared for all the um, spectrum of Alaska weather. I've been to Alaska in early May and had unseasonably warm, beautiful 70 and 80 degree weather. And I've been to Alaska in July and also had the misty uh, 50 degree weather. So just uh, be prepared, but you will see all the wonder of Alaska no matter when you go. So, I want to talk a little bit more about the things that make Holland America Line unique when people step aboard to sail to Alaska. Absolutely. It really is. How would you how would you uh, say that we are unique in the way we uh, we cult uh, we we cultivate an Alaska sp experience for our guests? You know, Rob, you know, at the beginning, you mentioned, you know, we've been, or we mentioned we've been going to Alaska for 77 plus years. I mean, we've been there since before Alaska was even a state. And we truly are the Alaska experts. And we offer more access to the wildlife, to the glaciers to, than any other cruise line. And we, we, we make it an easy experience, an easy way to experience Alaska in a 360 degree destination programming way from talks. Um, locally sourced seafood, um, even our, you know, our land program, even all the way up into Canada's Yukon territory. We sure do. Let's get even more specific for uh, our participants today. Let's, let's talk specifically about onboard our ship, those things that we do specifically so people get up close to the Alaska that we want to share with them. Absolutely. And did you, Rob, did you know that there's some really unique things that we do 
on board our ships when we're cruising in Glacier Bay National Park? Yeah, you know, uh, it's been a few years, but going into Glacier Bay is special not because of just the, um, the magnitude of the glaciers you'll get to see. We actually partner with the Park Service there, don't we? We do, yes, and, and bring on not only the Park Service, but also a native um, tribes people to share their fascinating tales of, of Alaska as well. Yeah, if I remember, Andrew, from the moment we sail into the waters of the park and we pick them up at the entrance, there is narration all day long for our uh, cruisers so that they can uh, understand the geological formation of glaciers and all the history of uh, the, the region as they sail. So it's like one big history lecture and lesson as you sail up into uh, Alaska into the up, up to the front of the glaciers. Yeah, and not only that, our guests get to enjoy, when we're cruising in, in, in Glacier Bay, they get to enjoy the uh, Dutch pea soup that we're famous for, um, that we serve in Glacier Bay as well. That's right, it just, it's that, it's that hearty uh, uh, layer of additional um, uh, tradition that, that really makes Holland America Line special. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So let's let's move on for a moment and talk about the uh, culinary experience that we offer to on board the Holland America Line ships in Alaska. Perfect. Yes. Let, tell me a little bit more about the um, the 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 new program that Holland America has uh, rolled out, including you know, some of the special shore excursions you can do. Sorry, I missed that, Andrew. Can you give it to me one more time? <laughs> no, no worries, Rob. I, I was mentioning, you know, go ahead. And can you share with us a little bit more about the uh, the new uh, culinary programs that we're offering on uh, not only in Alaska, well, mostly in Alaska, but also around the around uh, all of the, around the world on our voyages. But also, there's some special short excursions, I believe, that we're offering now. Sure. We'll move on to the next slide, real quick, Andrew, if you don't mind, and we're going to talk about. Our, our global fresh fish program, because that is pretty exciting. Now, we have always, or for the last couple of years, we have committed ourselves to having sustainable seafood in Alaska. And we'll come back to that in a minute, but we have now a global fresh fish program across our entire fleet in all the regions. And the cornerstone of that is our fresh fish ambassador, Iron Chef, uh, Morimoto, and he not only is developing new menu items, but uh, we are rolling out a, a specialty, what we call a pop-up restaurant, where um, his culinary and dining experience will be available to all our guests. But this fresh fish program allows us to have over 80 varieties of fresh fish, and what we do is we partner locally, and we are able to get that fresh fish from port to plate in just 48 hours. So in Alaska, yes, we do it, but we're also doing it in Europe, the Caribbean, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, virtually everywhere Holland America line sales. And it's so exciting. It, we, are, we are really the leading um, provider of fresh fish within the cruise industry. Sounds like an incredible program and a great, I mean, a really vast un, uh, undertaking that we've um, journeyed upon or been journeying on for this program. And, and there's even um, for if you have clients that are um, looking for sustainably sourced seafood and want to know where their where their fish is coming from, we even have a map that we can that's available on One Source Cruises that shows exactly what fish we're sourcing from what ports around the world. It's another one of my favorite uh, trade assets that we make available to our travel advisor uh, friends. So I encourage everyone to go and get that. Um, you know, Andrew, if you back up just one slide, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what we do in Alaska specifically. And that sure. is that Holland America is a, a certified sustainable provider of Alaska seafood. We have uh, made sure that in Alaska, 
we are providing 100% sustainable seafood and uh, we have the certification behind it. So that is sort of the technical side of it, but we also have some other programs like Savor My Catch because if a guest goes out and actually on one of our excursion catches fresh fish, what will we do for them? So yeah, it's pretty pretty incredible. Um, and I have actually had um, seen guests have this experience where they've gone on the short excursion, they catch the fish, bring it back to the ship. Our team prepares it in the dining room for them and serves it to them on their plate that evening. Um, and it's an incredible um, to, to imagine catching your own salmon, you know, 80 pound, 90 pound salmon, bringing it on board and then having that for dinner that night. You cannot get any fresher. You cannot, indeed. Um, and you mentioned shore excursions. So I wanna go uh, advance a couple slides and talk about shore excursions because you don't really get to know and love Alaska just by seeing the scenery go by from the railings of our ships. You actually have to get off the ship and get out. And there's so many ways that, that we can uh, offer that to uh, people who join us. We have over 175 curated experiences, but specifically there is a an excursion for every person if you want to get out and see kayak and and uh, see the marine mammals up close we offer that if you want to do a helicopter excursion and walk on a glacier um, all the way at the top of the glacier where uh, you the, the ship can't get to we can offer that or if you want to learn about the uh, native history in depth in alaska we also have excursions for that. So Andrew, if you think of your many times to Alaska, is there one excursion that stands out that you just would recommend or, or was really a special day for you? You know, honestly, I think my, my favorite is the White Pass Yukon uh, Rail Route that we offer in Skagway. That's one of my most favorite and memorable um, experiences. And I've done that trip, that portion of the trip now four times. Four or five times now, I believe. That is incredible. And and that's actually uh, a, a a rail experience that we own. So it, it's it's pretty exclusive to the Holland America and 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 our, our sister brands to be able to take guests up. And we'll come back to the importance of the White Pass and uh, Yukon Railway because of its connection to uh, the gold rush as well as how we get our guests up into the Yukon. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. So we've covered what we do on board. We've covered the um, many uh, culinary offerings. Um, and I just think we want to reiterate the glacier component because like we said, when we surveyed guests who are interested in Alaska, the number one thing they said they wanted to see was um, Alaska. And you know, I don't want to overstep, but we really do lead in one, the number of glacier experiences, as well as the best glacier experiences, which we already covered. And I think it's really important for people to remember that it isn't just about seeing a glacier. You can hike on a glacier, you can sail up to a glacier, you can fly up to a glacier, you can dog sled on a glacier. There are many ways to experience it and we make sure that people have the ability to to pick and choose the specific experience um with the alaska glaciers that they want to have and rob what would you say is your most memorable um, glacier experience when you've been to alaska ah my though i i will take a day in glacier bay anytime going all the way up to College Fjord for me is always a great experience because of the way that those glaciers um, sit uh, in a row uh, with going down the fjord one after the other. And we offer that on uh, the majority of our glacier discovery cruises, which we'll uh, highlight in just a moment. So we've talked broadly about what we do in Alaska. I think it's time to, look, to drill down and get specific about the itineraries, the cruises, and the programs that we offer. And there are two ways to see Alaska. So 
we have Alaska Cruises and Alaska Cruise Tour. But in my estimation, there is only one way to see all of Alaska. And which one would you pick if you wanted to see all of Alaska, Andrew? You know, I personally would pick that 18-day Alaska cruise tour that includes the Yukon Territory as well as um, Denali, Denali for three nights. And I agree with you, but the key word that you used was cruise tour. We clearly want anyone who has seven days to choose Holland America Line to sail from Vancouver or um, Seattle up into uh, the lower uh, portion to see Juneau and Ketchikan, Skagway, Sitka, and the glacier experiences. But to get to know the real Alaska and to see all of Alaska, we really believe cr the cruise tour, which is a com combination of seven days, uh, well, it could be three or four days on our ship, but up to seven days on our ship combined with the uh, land experience, all packaged together seamlessly so that an advisor can uh, present and sell the total experience. But first, let's talk a little bit about the Alaska cruises and the different um, programs that we have uh, up in Alaska in 2025. And, you know, Rob, I know you're, you're probably, you know, you mentioned this a bit ago about the different short excursions, but we actually give guests more access to wildlife as well up in Alaska, whether it's on the cruises or a cruise tour, including, you know, you mentioned that the number one thing that guests always want to see when we've surveyed them about Alaska, the number one thing they mention is the glaciers. Number two is the wildlife. And oftentimes, and we'll talk about this more, but uh, oftentimes the wildlife that they want to see cannot be seen just from the deck of a ship. They do need to get further inland and we'll share some of the ways they can experience the, that wildlife in, in just a bit. But first, let's, uh, why don't we talk about the Alaska cruises and some of those sailings? Let's do it. Let's do it. So which ports do we sail from out of the lower 48 and Canada, Andrew? Yes, yeah, so you know we offer convenient seven-day departures from uh, either round trip or, or, or north or southbound from Seattle round trip, Vancouver round trip. Guests can also go Vancouver northbound up to um, Whittier or southbound from Whittier back down to Vancouver. And and for those that might have a little bit more time, we do have a few 14-day sailings that are round trip from Vancouver, our, our great Alaska Explorer sailings. It go to some of those smaller ports that aren't tip, that you don't see very often on cruise itineraries. And in 2024, in addition to those in-depth 14 days, we truly are going to initiate what we think is the optimal experience to go up into the Great Land and into the Northern climate of North America. And uh, that is our 28 day Arctic so uh, Circle Solstice. We launched it for 2024 and it was an instant hit, sold out. We have it open for 2025. It is selling at a fast clip, but this really does give someone all of the amazing experiences you can have from a ship in Alaska going all the way up as far as known and up above the Arctic Circle. And it's combined with the summer solstice around the 21st, 22nd of June. And to have that experience of the longest day of the year at the most northern point that we can get someone to, I think it's just a really incredible, uh, that, that is a true bucket list uh, experience. And it also ends up being one of our legendary voyages, doesn't it? It does, yes, and 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 you know, if I could, if I can figure out a way to take 28 days off in a row, um, I I, I personally want to go on this cruise so so bad. It's just an incredible itinerary. Well, Andrew, we're going to have to negotiate that. That seems like a long time to be away from the desk, but I'm open to it if you have to. <laughs> there we go. 
Um, okay, so we've covered the cruises, and those cruises are the cornerstone of how we put together our cruise tours. So let's go on and talk about how people get into the interior of Alaska and really get to see everything it has to offer. You know, I bet you've been uh, in my shoes, Andrew, where you have uh, been at a trade event, working with consumers, talking to them about their desire to see Alaska. And the one thing they say is, and we have to see Alaska, we want to make sure we get on the cruise so that we can see Denali National Park. And you have to gently tell them that you're going to have to get off the ship and we take you by beautiful rail up into the interior, but you cannot get to Denali National Park by shore excursion on your customary seven-day Alaska cruise. You, a client, you're, uh, selling your clients on a cruise tour is the only way for them to see the majestic Mount Denali and Denali National Park. You're absolutely right, Rob. And, and did, did you know that there is, you know, 10, 10 of the largest, of the top 10 largest national parks, no less than seven can be found up in Alaska? Yeah, it is just incredible. And, you know, I wish we had the map here, but if you overlay um, Alaska over the lower 48, and then you overlay some of those parks up against the size of states in the lower 48, it really would put into scale uh, the vastness of what Alaska has to offer in terms of space. And we really do give people the chance to get into these incredible, incredible national parks. Um, often people think that uh, Denali is uh, you know, the, their, their goal, and it may be, but these others, whether it is Wrangell St. Elias or going into the Kei Fjords National Park, and of course, on the ship to, uh, into Glacier Bay, we really do lead in leveraging the wonder of America's national park system. Absolutely. And, you know, you mentioned, you know, guests, you know, you, you were talking about us being at trade events and and consumers there, and they want to. They they're saying they can't wait to go see Denali from the going on it just a cruise. You know, just to reiterate how why why we offer one of the reasons we offer the cruise tours to get is to get people into Denali National Park. The national the Denali National Park is eight hours from downtown Anchorage, so you cannot get there on a shore excursion. You really have have to you know when your clients mention they want to go to Denali National Park, they want to see Mount Denali. You really want to turn them towards one of our cruise tours for that specific reason. Well, Andrew, I think if you go to the next slide and you show uh, one of our cruise tours, our participants today will understand why uh, it is mission critical for people that want to see all of Alaska need to do a cruise tour because look where Denali is up in that. Yeah northwest corner of this map and uh it is also where they will be able to take the time to see the wildlife along the way and the beautiful majestic scenery um this is a, a an amazing cruise tour and it combines everything it has the best of the the cruises we offer but it also has the rail and uh all of the experience right up into the heart of alaska absolutely yeah, and the nice thing about the way our cruise tours are designed is guests can choose either direction, meaning that they operate either land first or cruise first, um, whichever a guest might want to experience, depending on the date they want to travel or the, the order of the experiences they may want to have. Rob, would you say there's, and, yeah. one, there's one way that's better than the other to experience these tours? You know, I... I, I think people believe that there are, um, you know, kind of specific things that are better. You need to be on one side of the ship in Alaska when you sail so you can see all of the um, scenery and all of the wildlife or that doing land first or cruise first is better. I say it's really important to make sure that you see exactly what you want when you go up and that you have the experience you want because which side of the ship you are on or whether you do the land or the cruise first is not as important as choosing the right 
routing to get to all the things that you want. And this is just one example. We have, um, you know, more than a dozen ways that and, and patterns of, of cruise tours up to Alaska. And I encourage all of the advisors with us today, if you don't feel confident selling the cruise tours to Alaska, get your Holland America Line representative to spend some time with you to walk through the many different cruise tours that we offer and the features and the benefits of each of them so that you have confidence. And then after you do that, I suggest, and Andrew, maybe you, you, this is not something you recommend. I always think that um, an advisor should go deep on one, two, or three cruise tours that they have mastered. And it's sort of their go-to. And then they work from that with a client. But one that they are comfortable with, they can explain well, and then they can sort of unpack the others as, the, as a client um, shares specific things that they want to do. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you 100% on that, Rob. That's, you know, when, when uh, in being out in the field and I'm working with advisors, that's the exact, the exact thing that I share with them to do is pick two or three that you can become an expert on and then you can take, and, take away or add areas um, as a client wants that or needs that. So there is virtually rail on every one of our cruise tours. And we have our own rail cars and our own rail experience. Um, one of the things that I love is the vast majority of our cruise tours, we have what we know is direct to Denali. And I think, you know, Anchorage is a great city, but it is a city. If you want to see the real Alaska, that direct to Denali, where you get off the ship in Whittier, you get on the rail car and we take you right to um, Denali, and I would encourage the double Denali experience at least, where you spend two full nights at Denali National Park. That is, for me, the, the, the optimal way to make sure that you have not only the, the, the comfort, but also the time to see everything Alaska has to offer. Agreed. And you know that the, the, what's so wonderful about our train cars is those dome tra train cars, they're, first of all, they're the tallest in Alaska. And all of the seats, as you can see in the photograph, are facing forward on, on our Holland America line train cars. And uh, that it's just absolutely beautiful. All guests, you know, just, I always get this question, you know, how do I make sure my client's going to get to sit on the high, on the, on the second story? Well, all guests on our train cars sit on the second story. The first story is a dining car. And also just, just in case you, you know, give clients that have any type of uh, limited uh, mobility issues, our we have trained cars that are equipped with lifts so that clients, no matter their ability, they can, they can enjoy the same experience as everyone else. And as long as we know in advance, we make sure that the right train car is there so they can be accommodated uh, the appropriate way. Maybe sometime we need to do a, a webinar on accessibility, but we certainly have uh, made sure that uh, guests with all needs have the ability to join us and get all the way to the interior. Exactly. Um, now, the rail car takes guests up to Denali, and yes, there's the park, but my favorite place in Alaska has fast become over the, say, the last six or seven years, uh, Denali Square at the McKinley Chalet. Andrew, were you, when were, you've been up there uh, over the past couple of years, haven't you, into Denali Square? I have, yes. I was up there the year that we inaugurated it or opened it, um, and I've been up there a few times. It, you're absolutely right. I mean, it's the absolute, it's the pinnacle point, or if you want to call it that, of our resort up there at, in Denali. We have a beautiful caf, uh, coffee bar where people can get their espresso drink and step outside into the beautiful scenery with mountains all around. Uh, we have fire pits, we have trails that are around, um, our beautiful lodge properties there. It, it really is for me, the quintessential Alaska um, location. And it's also such a comfortable place to come back to at the end of the day after a beautiful day into Denali National Park. And when we were talking about national parks, we really um, 
focus on getting people that longer, more in-depth experience into Denali National Park. Can you, can you kind of tell us the nuance there between the types of um, park experience that uh, offer and what we focus on for guests going into the park? Absolutely, Rob. You know, again, you know, guests are wanting to go up and go to Denali um, for the wildlife, for the scenery, for the, for the mountain, Mount Denali, the tallest peak in North America. Um, but we offer Denali in a couple of different ways. So when a client is on a cruise tour and they spend two or three nights with us in Denali, we, they, we include the Tundra Wilderness Tour as part of their journey. And that's the full day that they spend in the National Park, anywhere from six to eight hours in length. The longer, the better. That means you're seeing more wildlife and you're stopping more frequently. There is another um, tour that, you, that guests can book on their own called the Natural History Tour. It takes guests just about into um, mile post 18, roughly. Um, it's more of the tundra type um, tour before you actually get into um, the, 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 before the elevations start shifting a lot. Um, and where, so, we, and guests can, um, they can opt to take that tour as well if they like. But again, as long as they're spending two or three nights with us, they're gonna, we're gonna include that, that tundra wilderness tour for them. Um, and the, the yeah. Absolutely. Like going all the way up there and then and then doing the the abbreviated version just makes no sense when you've you've you've, you've traveled so far and you want to see as much wildlife and wilderness as you can. That 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 complete tour is definitely uh, something that we 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 want to work into uh, for as many guests as possible. So we've talked about Alaska and people often just talk about Alaska. But Holland America Line is pretty unique because we offer take also take guests into the Yukon. And what I want to remind everyone is that yes, there is a geogra uh, a political boundary between the Yukon and Alaska, but it actually is one integrated vast area that is uh should be explored together. And the Yukon is amazing in its own right. So uh, if you want to talk a little bit, Andrew, about why uh, we think those who, who want to see the entire region should also consider one of our programs that includes the Yukon and, 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 and why we are the virtually only cruise tour operator that does both Alaska and the Yukon together. Yeah, absolutely, Rob. This, I, I just have to say a couple of things before I talk a little bit about the Yukon. My absolute favorite trip to Alaska is when is the cruise tour that includes the Yukon. I've been up to the Yukon territory three times. Um, it's absolutely incredible. Um, it truly is like the almost like the Wild West still. There's no paved sidewalks. It's just wooden boardwalks still. Um, absolutely incredible. Um, so, you know, the, the reason guests really one, or one of the main reasons I would say to experience the Yukon is that's where in 1898 guests are people that were coming from the, from California and other parts of the United States and Canada that's where they were going to stake their claim that's where gold was discovered and in fact gold still to this day plays in a very important part to the history and to the the, the of Dawson City which is the which is in the heart of the Yukon territory that's where we actually take guests. That's the furthest point that we take guests is the is to Dawson City, where we actually own and operate our own um, hotel as well. But it, it's just absolutely incredible um, the the journey that 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 you can learn about the history um, outside of Skagway, which is generally the jumping off, which is the jumping off point for for the Yukon. Um, you can learn all about the history of the gold rush through there. But it's just absolutely incredible um it's it's kind of like it's just it, it's 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 like stepping back in time and what's so what makes these tours even more special is when clients are on the cruise tours to the yukon territory with us so that includes denali which we'll share an itinerary with you in just a moment they also have a tour director that's within the entire time on the land portion when they're on our yukon territory when they're on our yukon cruise tours and those tour directors can help make their experience even more special by sharing tips, tricks, and insider knowledge about the area as well. 
That's, that is a great point. Now, all Holland America Line Cruise Tour to Alaska are hosted, which means that from point to point, there is always someone who can make sure that our guests are um, confident in, in the next step of their um, adventure. So we call that hosted. But these are actually escorted. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yes, Rob. Absolutely. So, Andrew, we're, we're coming to the end of our time, and we've taken a lot of time to make sure that our um, the participants that joined us today knew what we had to offer in 2025 and why we thought we were uh, we why Holland America Line is the number one choice for wilderness, wildlife, glaciers, um, sustainable culinary experiences. But are there incentives to go ahead and get clients booked for 2025 now? You know, Rob, I'm glad you asked that question because you know I love incentives and we absolutely have an incredible, incredible incentive, you know, for clients that are interested in booking Alaska for 2025. Um, we have our, currently our early booking bonus, Have It All, is running. And have it all. Now, that has become really popular. Uh, and, and the number one way that, that our, our cruises and our cruise tours are being sold. Have it all means that an inclusive fare that includes beverage package, Wi-Fi, a shore excursion credit, as well as an experience in one of our specialty restaurants. But we've enhanced it for this. And how have we enhanced it, Andrew? So by, by your clients planning early and, and taking advantage of, you know, first of all, booking early, they're going to get, you know, more access to inventory. And if they have a specific type of cabin they want, they're going to have more opportunities to choose that cabin type. But when your clients book early, in addition to what Rob outlined, they're also we're going to upgrade their beverage package from the signature beverage package to the elite beverage package. We're also going to upgrade their Wi-Fi to premium level. And on top of that, we'll throw in free prepaid uh, crew appreciation or gratuities. And then in addition to that, they'll, we offer a low price guarantee, meaning if the price changes to any time during the have it all early booking bonus is running, we, will, we, ought, we guarantee that they're gonna have the lowest price. So what you're saying is the best value and the confidence to go ahead and make the decision now. Is that what I hear? That's exactly what you're hearing. That's exactly right. That's Bob. amazing. That's amazing. Um, well, Andrew, I think we are uh, coming to the close of our uh, time today. And uh, I want to thank you for partnering with me to present Holland America Lines Cruise and Cruise Tour Program for 2025 uh, for, you know, Eight years we've been uh, at this together, and it's always a pleasure to have you um, as my companion to spread the word about the great programs that we have to offer. Thank you for that, Rob. And I, I, it's been wonderful to present with you today, and I just appreciate you um, inviting me to, to inviting me to join today. It was great. Uh, and Johanna, as our uh, facilitator, is there anything else that we uh, need to do before we uh, thank our participants for all their support of Holland America Line? Well, first, on behalf of all the attendees, I want to do say thank you and pass along their thanks um, to you both. They all are saying that you guys um, have presented the information um, with such passion and it's a, it's been a great presentation. Um, so just to kind of wrap up, we if you guys have some time for some questions, um, I know that there are some questions that the attendees would like me to ask you all. Um, so just to sure. start um, with all the information that you all have presented today, um, it, very, it very much so is exciting. It makes um, attendees and clients very excited to learn about what Holland has to offer um, specifically in Alaska. If clients uh, or if agents are new to selling Holland and you've presented all this information, is there anywhere that they can log in to a portal or visit a web page on your website 
that allows them to see all of this information or get any resources that they can present to their clients so that they can also pass along um, the information about itineraries or the shore excursions or the cruise tours? Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I, I'd be happy to uh, share my thoughts, but Andrew works day in and day out with so many of our uh, travel advisor partners that I'm gonna let him share uh, his best tips and tricks for getting access to all of those assets and that information. Thank you, Rob. I, and thank you so much for the, the question. Um, I, the, the number one place that I always um, recommend advisors go is to one source, cruises.com or simply gohal.com as well. That will take you into um, where you can access uh, not only information about our current promotions, but also you can access go, uh, the HAL Academy, Holland America Alliance online training portal. And we, we offer you know, some core courses, but we also offer some quick 25, 30 minute specialty courses, including Alaska. In addition, there's a great resource on um, One Source Cruises where you can actually download a PDF version of our Alaska brochure, and it and it shares with you all of the different charts and itineraries to help you explain to a client what what the itinerary would be day to day on one of our cruise tours. Great, thank you for sharing that, Andrew. And is there a place that our agents can see who their local uh, BDM is in case they have specific questions or just want a resource that is local to them? You know, I'll, I'll jump in really quickly. Again, onesourcecruises.com has all of the information that you need. Um, Great. It's, it's, it is our travel advisor portal for everything Holland America Line. Okay, perfect. And I'm sure the contact information will be on there for the specific BDMs so that our agents can contact them um, for more information or for any questions. Exactly. And, and, and also they can always, if they can't find that person, they can always send an email to sales at hollandamerica.com. And I will put that in the chat for all of our attendees. And just to confirm, it's sales at hollandamerica.com, correct? Correct. Perfect. And we'll and route that one. inquiry to the right person. Oh, great. Thank you so much, Rob. And just to follow up on, um, I know that you were just speaking about the Have It All program. Could we go back to that slide very quickly? And you did mention that, you know, this is great for those clients who are trying to plan early. So let's say we have a client who is um, also flying in prior to um, their their cruise. Is there any way that um, agents can pinpoint the arrival hotel in Alaska so that we can get them all there ahead of time? Um, yeah, I'm sure we can. I like. There are a variety of um, hotels and properties that we use. Many of them are owned uh, by Holland America Line through our Westmark property. Um, if they if they book with Holland America Line and they use our Flight East program with Air, we make that seamless. Now, getting the specific hotel usually it's it's predictable, but um, it's it's probably when uh, the documents are released that the actual specific property will be named say for flying into Fairbanks um, though we have a property in Fairbanks I I wouldn't want to say on this that every single person uh, will end up at the West Bank uh, at the Westmark Fairbanks because uh, it, it's going to depend on uh, you know the availability on that date but to I, I hope I covered that I, I don't mean to say that we don't uh, know the properties uh, in advance. It's that as inventory is needed to be placed, that is when specific assignments are made, the vast majority of which end up at our own uh, Westmark properties. Sure. Great. Thank you for sharing that. And Rob, I know that you mentioned maybe doing um, a webinar specifically on accessibility that Holland offers to all of the clients on board. Um, could you all speak to just um, let's say a client does have accessibility needs or just needs extra assistance moving around. Are there any um, accommodations that you all have made to make it so that everyone can go on all the excursions or are there certain excursions that 
are limited to people who um, may not need that extra assistance. Andrew, do you want to jump in on this one or I, I can offer my thoughts? I'm happy to. Um, so my first thought would be, because everyone's needs might be are different, would be to reach out to our accessibility team. They can guide you um, and answer any specific questions regarding accessibility, whether it's on a ship or a short excursion. Um, but I will say that when you're looking, when your clients are looking at short excursions, or if you're working, or if you're sitting there looking with them, the short excursions will mention if, um, if, let's just say, for example, someone needs a scooter, it will specifically mention on that short excursion that that one would have the 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 um, have the ability to host a scooter. Um, if you're, and then addition to that, it's really important that you communicate with us and our reservations team and our accessibility team early in the booking um, so that we can make sure that we have the right equipment and the right destinations um, to accommodate your, your guests. Because for example, you know, a good, another good example, up in Alaska, we have motor coaches that do have lifts. Not all of our motor coaches have lifts. So that's why it's important that we know um, what your client's needs are and that you work with our accessibility team. You can find their contact information. I'm going to refer you back to onesourcecruises.com. You can find the contact information on that site. Perfect. I know that a few of our attendees were asking about um, the different shore excursions, which you all showed um, beautiful pictures of Alaska and what you could possibly see on those cruise tours as well. Um, could you speak about life on board for, let's say, a client or a group um, of multi-gen or a family that does have younger kids? Are there age requirements to get on board with Holland America or to do any of the shore excursions? Um, we do welcome, uh, you know, guests of virtually all age. I think we have a requirement on the low end uh, for a child to be is it a six months, Andrew, before we can bring a, a, an infant on. I forget if it the the, the where we start, but um, to get more broad, uh, we lead in offering multi generational. Um, experiences for families that want to travel together because we do have programs for kids as young as three all the way up to through the teens and then uh, there are shore excursions that are um, that are appropriate for them specific facilities on board our ships and then you know that allows everyone through the entire family up to uh, you know parents and grandparents even great grandparents for everyone to be able to uh, tap into uh, the experience that they want to have. So we do offer programming and experiences that really cover the, the entire life spectrum. That's great to know that everyone can really enjoy and be a part of what Holland America has to offer. So thank you for sharing that, uh, Robin, Andrew. And just to kind of wrap up here, there is one burning question that keeps coming up here in the questions module. Everyone seems to be excited about the Northern Lights and the opportunity to see that and experience that um, natural phenomenon up in Alaska. I know that you said any time is the best time to go to Alaska when you have um, the flexibility in your schedule, but is there any tips or kind of things that you all have learned being a part of Holland America and spending time up in Alaska um, to kind of give advice on when is the best time to even have the chance to see the northern lights well the northern lights andrew you can correct me i believe that is a late summer phenomenon and so you would if you want the best chance to see the northern lights you want to look into say september to go up to uh alaska if if, if that is if that is at the top of your list then you want to go later in the season great yeah, I know that. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I was going to say absolutely, and I was just trying to get back to this screen, um, the slide that shows those those dates. So absolutely, the other, you know, the other thing is the Northern Lights are the Northern Lights. There's so many um, atmospheric conditions that can cause them not to show. But uh, you know, September, the late. I, I recommend if some if that's on someone's list, you know, you they can also take one of our cruise tours that that either begins or ends in Fairbanks and then take a flight up to the Arctic Circle 
during that time of the year on one of our short excursions as well and get them into even a darker location. Perfect. Um, our attendees are thanking you for sharing that um, that bit of information just so that they know, because I'm sure their clients are asking um, and associating Northern Lights with Alaska. So that's good to know. And lastly, I do want to uh, highlight the new program that you spoke about. Uh, if you could go back to the slide about the fishing program, the um, locally sourced, and you, they can bring it on board. And so just to wrap up there about the food on board. Um, I know that you all mentioned that as part of a shore excursion, clients can go off and catch their own fish. Is there age requirements for that um, to join that type of excursion? Well, what they wanna do is focus on uh, programs that, it, that, that highlight savor my catch. So there are specific shore excursions. I don't think they are uh, age restricted, but okay. they are specific excursions where we can make that available. Great, and just to stay on this global fish program, fresh fish program, when they do bring it on board, let's say they do have um, dietary needs or restrictions, are they able to work with your crew to make sure that they can catch or they can taste their catch? Um, well, I we, we have a broad um, program to meet dietary, uh, people with diet, specific dietary needs, whether it's a restriction, or allergies or another scenario. So we, we are always looking to match up um, what, we, what we serve to our guests to uh, what they have um, shared with us as their, their dietary needs. So I would say, yes, are there some limitations of what we can and can't take a piece of freshly caught uh, fish and offer it? Perhaps, I can't think of it, but we would certainly work with them on that. Yeah. Great. And did you have anything to add there, Andrew? No, I think that's that's really, um, you know, like Rob mentioned, I mean, the main thing is making sure that we're aware of what the restrictions are that their client may have. Um, and then really quickly going back to the age limitation on a shore excursion, you, you can always view the shore excursions on our website. Um, if you go under the destinations area of hollandamerica.com, you can start planning in some of the shore excursion examples. It may not, they may not be specifically available on the, on your client's cruise, but those are good, that's a good place to start and to see if there's any type of restrictions that you may, that you may be looking to, to learn about. Great, thank you. And we are just about out of time for today's webinar, uh, but it has been packed with lots of information, lots of exciting things going on with Holland America, um, up in Alaska and all on, on all of your itineraries. Rob and Andrew, I do want to say thank you again for spending the afternoon with us. Did you have anything that you wanted uh, to leave our attendees with? Any tips, any um, promotions that you want to highlight lastly, um, or anything at all, just closing thoughts? I think we covered it. I just want to express our gratitude and appreciation for the great year that we had in 2023 the great year we are having in 2024, and we can't do it without the travel advisor community. So thank you for everything you do day in and day out. Yeah, and I absolutely agree with what Rob said. Thank you for all of your support of Holland America Line. And, and remember, book your clients now for 2025 Alaska so they can take advantage of all those, that uh, early booking bonus have it all promotion. Oh, and by the way, I do just want to let you know that we do have Charlie as part of our attendees, and he wants to let you all know that he has actually um, attended and has been sailing with Holland America Line since 1995, and that's that's Charlie Sylvia. He's with us today in the attendees. Oh, that's so Thank great. You. Oh, Thank you wonderful. for doing that. So he has been You're able to be a part of Holland Line for a while, Holland America Line for a little bit. <laughs> Charlie's a diamond, man. We appreciate you, Charlie. We love you. <laughs> All righty. Well, with that, we will close out today's webinar. And I do just want to say thank you again, Rob and Andrew. And hopefully we will see everybody um, on the next webinar with Holland America. All right. Thank you so much. Everyone have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.